Hello, and welcome to day 31 of 31 Days of Reflecting on Conscious Aging. Now, today is the last day in this series of 31 Days of Reflecting on what it means to be born, what it means to live your life fully, and what it means to die, and how they all weave together so that we can choose conscious aging. And I thought it best to end the series reading you a poem that was written by a woman named Linda Ellis back in 1996. It's read often at eulogies, as a eulogy or at, as a tribute at funerals. It's called The Dash. I read of a man who stood to speak at the funeral of a friend. He referred to the dates on the tombstone from the beginning to the end. He noted that first came the date of birth and spoke the following dates with tears. But he said that what mattered most of all was the dash between those years. For that dash represents all the time that they had spent upon the earth. And now only those who loved them know that little, what that little line is worth. For it matters not how much we own, the cars, the house, the cash. What matters is how we live in love and how we spend our dash. So think about this long and hard. Are there things you'd like to change? For you never know how much time is left that can still be rearranged. If we could just solve, if we could just slow down enough to consider what's true and real and always try to understand the way other people feel and be less quick to anger and show appreciation more and love the people in our lives like we've never loved before. If we treat each other with respect and more often wear a smile, remembering that this dash might only last a little while. So when your eulogy is being read with your life's actions to rehash, would you be proud of the things they say about how you lived your dash? So I'm, I'm grateful to Linda Ellis for sharing these important words. Uh, and it reminds me each day to live my dash as fully as I know possible. I have been so blessed to be there at the bedside of many babies being born. And just yesterday, I sat at the bedside of a friend of mine who is passing. It's the same door. And it's this incredible unknown adventure that we're on. And we're blessed to have this time connected together somehow. And I suspect that it is true that in some way beyond our comprehension, we are all one. So I wish you a very, very happy birthday as I celebrate mine. I in wish you a happy, happy life, and I wish you great peace whenever your time of passing comes. Thanks.